tongue tie also known as angiloglacia is a condition in which the tongue of your baby remains attached to the bottom of the mouth due to a band of tissue that connects the other side of the tongue to the flow of the mouth and keeps it from moving freely. Normally a tongue can move out the mouth and pass beyond the lower lip. The tongue can also reach up the hard pellet which can secure the roof of the mouth. But if the tongue tie an unusually short, thick and tight band of tissue also called lingual frenulum, tethers the, the tongue's tip. This can interfere with breastfeeding and later in life with speech and cause many other complications as we will see later in this video. And before we continue, if not subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel now and activate notifications so that you don't miss any contents. A tongue tie is also medically known as a giloglossia. Newborn tongue tie may result in difficulty leaching when breastfeeding for extended period of time, constant hunger, trouble gaining weight. A clicking sound while your child is breastfeeding. For feeling, you may also have symptoms related to your baby's tongue tie, including cracked sore nipples, pain during nursing or breastfeeding, insufficient milk supply. In young children, tongue tie symptoms may include speech difficulties with sounds that require your child's tongue to touch the roof of their mouth or upper front teeth. doesn't impact the number of words your child has or says, just their pronunciation. Number two, difficulty swallowing. Number three, difficult moving their tongue to wide the roof of their mouth or from side to side. Number four, difficulty licking ice cream. Number five, difficulty playing the wind instruments, problems sticking their tongue out and up. And that tongue time may result in mouth breathing, inability to speak clearly, jaw pain, and tongue thrust. What causes tongue tie? Typically, the lingual frenulum or tongue tie spread before birth, allowing the tongue free range of motion. With tongue tie, the lingual frenulum remains attached to the bottom of the tongue. And why this happens is largely unknown, although some cases of tongue tie have been associated with certain genetic factors. Risk factors. Although tongue tie can affect anyone, it's more common in boys than girls. However, tongue tie sometimes runs in families. Types of tongue ties. We have anterior tongue ties and posterior tongue ties. An anterior tongue tie is in the front of your child's mouth near the tip of their tongue, just behind their lower teeth and gums. It often looks like a thin web. A posterior tongue tie, sometimes called a hidden tongue tie, is further back where the floor of their mouth meets their tongue, making it more difficult to see. Anterior tongue ties are more common than posterior tongue ties.
complications of tongue ties. Tongue tie can affect baby's oral development as well as the way he or she eats, speaks, and swallows. For example, tongue tie can lead to number one, breastfeeding problem. Breastfeeding requires a baby to keep his or her tongue over the lower gum while sucking. If unable to move the tongue or keep it in the right position, the baby might chew instead of suck on a nipple. This can cause significant nipple pain and interfere with the baby's ability to get breast milk. Ultimately, poor breastfeeding can lead to inadequate nutrition and failure to thrive. Number two, speech difficulties. Tongue tie can interfere with the ability to make certain sounds. Pharyngitis, tonsillitis, laryngitis, bronchitis, and pneumonia can also be indirect complications from tongue tie. Tongue tie can also lead to the formation of the gap or space between the two bottom of the teeth. Number four, challenges with other oral activities. I'm taking in the field with activities such as licking an ice cream cone, licking the lips, or playing a wind instruments. Diagnosis. Ties or ankyloglossia are usually diagnosed at birth during the primary newborn physical exam by midwives or doctors. In infants, angiloglossia or tongue tie often diagnosed by pediatrician or lactation consultant. In all the children and adults, tongue tie are usually diagnosed by dentist. For infants, the doctor might use screening tool to score various aspects of the tongue's appearance and the ability to move. Treatments of the tongue tie. Treatment for tongue tie is controversial, but it's recommended to get tongue tie corrected right away, even before the newborn is discharged from the hospital. While other providers prefer to take a wait and see approach, in fact, it's believed that the lingual frenula may loosen over time, resolving tongue tie. <laughs> in other cases, tongue tie persists without causing problems. In some cases, consultation with a lactation consultant can assist with breastfeeding. Speech therapy with a speech language pathologist may help improve speech sounds. Baby is drowsy, cozy and fair. Mother sits but in most cases, surgical treatment of tongue tie may be needed for newborn infant children and adult diagnosed with tongue tie, especially if the tongue tie causes problems. Surgical procedures include a phrenotomy and a phrenoplasty. Number one, a phrenotomy. Phrenotomy is a simple surgical procedure that can be done with or without anesthesia in the doctor's office. The doctor examines the lingual frenulum and then uses sterile scissors to slip the frenulum free. The procedure is quick and the discomfort is minimal since there are few nerves earrings and few blood vessels in the lingual frenulum. After the procedure, the baby can be breastfed immediately. Complications of frenotomy are rare but can include bleeding or infections and damage to the tongue or salivary glands. It's also possible to have scarring for the frenulum to reattach to the base of the tongue. Number two, a frenuloplasty. Frenuloplasty is a more extensive procedure that may be recommended if additional repair is needed or the lingual frenulum is too thick for a frenotomy. A frenuloplasty is done under general anesthesia. After 
after the final one is released, the wound is usually caused with absorbable sutures. Possible complications of frenilopathy are similar to those of a frenotomy and are very rare. These are bleeding, infections, and damage to the tongue of the salivary glands and scarring, if possible, to a more extensive nature of the procedure. Tongue tie. After a frenilloplasty, tongue exercise might be recommended to enhance tongue movements and reduce the potential for scarring. I am Dr. Eric. This channel is aimed to deliver information that supports health and holistic wellness. All information provided on this channel is tied for information and educational purposes. If not done yet, please subscribe to our channel now and activate notifications. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video on tongue tie, causes, complications and treatments. See you in our next video soon. Bye bye.